Welcome back to Yellow Cottage Soapery. Today I'm making water lily and jasmine soap. And I do plan on doing a little bit of piping on the top. I'm gonna to do a lighter pink, a little bit of a lighter peach and green, and then along with white on the inside. I already have my kale and clay all blended in here, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my lye solution, which is at room temperature, which in my soap cottage is about 72 degrees. And I let my lye cool off. I don't use, I don't pour it. Um, I usually make it the day before or several hours before so that it's cool. I find that if I try to soak with hot lye, my soap sets up a lot quicker. So I always make sure it's cool. And my oils are probably like a little more warmer than that, maybe 80 degrees. When I first started, I did always check temperatures of everything but then I found that I didn't really need to do that I just kind of had my way of doing it and it worked fine so let me divide out my colors here
I have the green with a 104 rose tip, well in. I have a 352 a leaf tip with the pink, and I have a well in 349, which is the same uh, leaf tip, but it's smaller. So I just was playing around here. I'm trying to make like a little lily pad. So I'm just going to, the big end of the tip is facing down. And I'm just going to kind of turn my wrist. I'm sorry if you can't see, but I'm going to just turn my wrist and you'll see when I come around here. I'm just kind of doing that. And then to make it thicker, I'm just kind of doing another one on top. Just to make them look like kind of like lily pads. And then I'm going to take this larger leaf tip, the 352, and I'm just going to pipe five petals going around here.
about Water Lily and Jasmine. It's been setting for a few days because it was a little bit soft, but you can see the inside and the top. I did have a little bit of piping left, <clears throat> excuse me, left, so I ended up just piping some more of what looks like water lilies on the top. Now I poured this kind of a different way than I had, so I wasn't sure if I'd get that many swirls. I didn't get a ton of swirls in the first in the first loaf, but this is a I, I wish I would have made this sooner. I forgot how much I like this fragrance. So nice. Hmm, the swirls are interesting, I guess. So I've been doing, I have a, soap, soap making was kind of my hobby initially, and then it kind of turned into a business. Um, that's a pretty swirl. It kind of turned into a business unexpectedly, but one of my other really big hobbies that I haven't really done, been able to do much of the past few years is gardening. And when I owned the other homes that I've owned, of course, you know, gardening was definitely my hobby. But then my husband and I rented for, you know, several years before we decided to buy this house. And now I'm back into gardening because, you know, you don't want to put all this money into somebody else's landscape. But now that we own a house, um, I'm, we are tearing out so many things that were here and overgrown and planted on top of each other and of course there's so many roots that we're digging up it's like a labor of love for sure um but I have a greenhouse I bought a greenhouse we have still have to put it together so I can try to start things from seeds and and get more into gardening that way and it's actually going to go it's only like six by eight um but it's going to go kind of next to my cottage here so it doesn't get full sun all day because the sun here in South Carolina is very hot in the summer. And um, so I'm excited to get that put together. And this one. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching. I will see you on the next video.